Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie and I'm back with this video about Nick Fury and his synergies around him. Now I've been playing around with him in Act 6 trying to figure out how he's going to be useful for me. So I definitely wanted to test out the synergies in different scenarios and see which ones um, were more valuable than others and which ones that I would actually use, you know, what interactions they have with different characters, um, things of that nature. Some are okay, some are better than others, and you know, some are very champ specific. Others are kind of uh, useless. Otherwise, you know, you know, I, I, I'm very happy with it. So I'm just gonna test out each one of the, the synergies that he has. And the first one we have is the contingency plan with um, the Captain Marvels. And with the contingency plans, um, it's actually one of the better ones. And um, it's really good for hype because it is, if Nick Fury is alive, all Fury buffs um, have a 20% increased duration, including uh, Nick Fury zone. So that's actually one of the synergies that works for Nick Fury. So um, if you run Hyperion, this is a great um, synergy for Hyperion. And so right here, we're going up against Old Man Logan. And uh, Hyperion, you know, he gets those furies when he um, throws his heavies. And so right now we're up to eight. I think at one point in time, I was able to stack up 12. Um, I don't know if it, it wasn't in this one. It must have been in another fight. But this synergy works very well with any champ that is um, able to build furies. So, you know, even the Captain Marvels, you know, with their furies, they're able to last 20% longer also. Um, another one that my mind goes to is Mordo. So if, uh, you know, you hold the heavy and throw it, um, that really helps too. And then I also thought about going to um, the Masteries. So if you were to put, you know, both of these together, the Enhanced Fury and the Synergy with Captain with the Captain Marvels and Nick Fury, you could definitely do some damage. So on to the next fight here, we're looking um, at Mordo. Now Mordo stacks a lot of Furies too, but his are capped at 10. So, you know, and like I said, you just hold the heavy. Um, and his furies are a lot is a lot of where Mordo's damage comes from and if if you want to play him offensively most people don't play uh Mordo offensively so this synergy really isn't the best for him but um I can see really basically anybody that is using a champ that relies on a lot of furies you know maybe even Medusa uh to help benefit that might last make her living strands last longer so uh, this synergy, it, it, it does benefit Nick himself if you plan on using him offensively. Um, he does gain Furies off of his tactical charges. If you build up 20, he converts, he converts those into a permanent Fury. So it might not be as useful there. So overall, you know, I say, I say I give this one, um, three Nick Furies out of five. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And the next one we're gonna look at is the Strategic Sabotage paired up with Quake or Ant-Man. And this synergy, uh, it, it doesn't benefit uh, Nick. And once again, if Nick is alive, the first three unblock hits from the opponent have 100% ch chance to be evaded. So if you look at this footage we have here of Emma Frost fighting this very annoying Moon Knight, <laughs> <laughs> um, you can see that little green uh, buff in the corner there with uh, the little evade symbol. And so basically, um, if she gets struck, she will automatically evade. Now, there are some limitations to this, and I will show you. So right there, um, she goes, he goes to hit her, and she, she evades, and she loses a charge. Um, I don't feel particularly this synergy is very valuable because uh, there's a lot of limitations to it, and I'm going to show you those limitations right now. So going up against this unblockable yellow jacket here, um, you know, one of the caveats of this synergy, so to speak, is you have to not be holding block. So say you're going against an unblockable special one, right? This unblockable special one jacket. So he fires a special one off and if you're holding block, 
uh, like I was right there, you're still going to get hit with it. And uh, so there you go there. I wasn't holding block. He evaded it and he loses the charges. So, but when I was holding block and I took the hit, I still lost the charges. So um, it will automatically dex you out if you are not holding block. So bringing in Emma Frost against the same yellow jacket and she decks back and took those charges away because she wasn't blocking. So it's, it's, this is just one of those that I'm just not sure of. So there you go again with Killmonger, uh, wasn't blocking, held it, took the charges away. Now with Mordo, this is actually kind of interesting because it counters his astral evade. So if you have problems fighting Mordo, um, this, this synergy can definitely help you out. But another w uh, issue with this synergy is of course, if we look at Black Panther Civil War. Now, of course, we all know when he has his armor up, if you try to parry him, he's gonna stun you and you're gonna come in and get wrecked, right? Right. So, um, you know, we go ahead, Perry Black Panther, we get stunned. Oh, and our charges still got taken away. So it doesn't work with the stun. Um, and <laughs> you still lose your charges. Um, also, I don't think it's very useful because if you're playing Quake, she automatically evades. So, I mean, she's going to evade and then it's still going to take the charges away. So it's kind of one of those things. It's just... I don't know this one, if, if you're playing as Spider-Man, Quake, Nightcrawler, and you do an evade that is completely on you or, you know, natural, so to speak, it'll still take those charges away. So this energy is a little bit less useful. I definitely give this energy a one out of five Nick Furies. Okay, so on to the next synergy, which is, I think, probably one of the most valuable, and it is the Restoration Kit. And, uh, of course, the Restoration Kit, uh, unfortunately, has some of the worst characters in the game. That's kind of the problem with these synergies. The best character he synergizes with really is Quake and the worst, you know, and that has the worst synergy. And the best synergy he has is with the Deadpools. So, you know, you got X-Force. Uh, I don't even have him as a high star, so I can't even test this out in Act 6. So, but this character, this synergy is very interesting. So if Nick is alive once per fight when a teammate is inflicted with bleed, poison, or shock debuff, he will drop a restoration kit, purifying the debuff and regenerating 10% of their max health over three seconds. And this is the most valuable one. And the reason for this is, is, is it allows any champ to be suicide friendly. So um, I run suicides and boom, look at that. Uh, the debuffs are gone and Hyperion is purified and he had a little bit of the regeneration uh, buff on him. So that was pretty cool. Um, that was definitely, definitely a bonus. So let's go ahead and go into the next fight here. Um, so, and it's the bleed node and boom, look, bleed completely gone and Quake, you know, she's not poison or bleed immune. So that synergy just purified it. And so now she can go in and just wreck that node. So that is a pretty good synergy. It basically makes any champ you have, you know, so it's not only suicide friendly, but you know, potentially bleed and poison immune at the start of the fight. So one of the best things about this synergy too is if you have taken damage, you know, from recoil or whatever, you can just come in at the start of the next fight. And like, if you look at this Hyperion here, right, he's taking a bit of damage. So we're just going to swing back in here, you know, and boom, suicide's purified and he is starting to regen. I mean, how cool is that? I think that this is one of the best synergies. Um, I really like this synergy. <laughs> I am personally going to have to say that it is the best synergy. I mean, like, come on, but it's awesome, right? So, you know, you could take, let's see, you could take this synergy basically and take any champ and go through a bleed, a, path, a bleed path, a poison path, you know, anything like that. You can heal up some damages. So, 
you know, this is a very valuable synergy. Unfortunately, it is with some of the worst champs in the game. So based on that, I have to give this synergy four out of five Nick Furies. <laughs> okay. So now we are on to increased firepower, and this is with the Black Panthers. And um, if Nick is alive when the fight starts, he grants his teammates a buff, doubling their critical rating for 10 seconds. So not really that useful. Um, maybe if you're going for a Legends run, I can see it being useful, um, you know, one of the benefits that if you if you don't have Corvus, that is. So if you look at this uh, Venom pool here with uh, Ghost Rider, um, this little ticking time debuff here, um, increased power, increased uh, critical rating. You know, you see my little liquid courage there. So for the first 10 seconds of the fight, you know, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I don't know if this synergy is really worth it. I mean, you have to know, the problem with this is you have a limited number of slots on your team. So I can really only see this being, you know, beneficial if you're trying to run through some content or maybe if you're going for a Legends title. Um, that's really about it. Um, you know, if you're bas basically if you're going for a Legends run with, you know, a champ other than Corvus. So the fight would be over in 10 seconds, less than 10 seconds anyway. So um, this would be, I don't really find this to be a beneficial. Uh, so I give it uh, two out of five Nick Furies. I don't really see much, much useful in it. Maybe if you powered it and paired it with a few other things, it could be a bit better. But I really don't see much use for the synergy. All right, so next we have this Extreme Conditions Kit. And um, of course, all uh, Nick has to be alive. And it's um, once per fight when a teammate is inflicted with Cold Snap, Frostbite, or Incinerate Effect, he will drop an Extreme Conditions Kit, granting debuff immunity for 10 seconds. So this one is very specific for certain fights. Um, this would have been great for that um, Iceman we had in the Uncollected Event Quest a few months back. Um, but, you know, this is very, like I said, very champ specific. Um, it's with the Iron Man synergies. Uh, so, you know, I do know some people like to use Infinity Man. Um, I don't know. I don't find a lot of value in this here. So if we're going up against this Iceman in the event quest, this, this just, you know, just, just a little random one. <laughs> um, so as you can see, it's debuff immunity, buff to the immune, uh, buff immune to the effects of all debuffs. So I had a parry double edge cold snap immunity here right now. But other than that, I really don't find this valuable. It's it's good in certain situations, of course. You know, fighting Iceman, maybe if there's like an incinerate node, you know, if that comes up, something like that. But um, I'm, I'm going to give this a, a 1.5 Nick Fury out of five Furies, out of five Nick Furies. Okay, so now we are on to the power kit. And if Nick is alive, of course, once per fight, when a teammate is affected by a power steal, power lock, or power drain effect, he will drop a power kit, removing the effect and granting one bar of power over 10 seconds. So this one, this is another very interesting synergy. Um, he has it with Loki and Scarlet Witch. So if you're talking about Act 6, of course, you're going to have to bring in Loki because we don't have a five-star Scarlet Witch yet. So <clears throat> this one's pretty interesting. So I'm going up against a magic here, and I have my OG Iron Man. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to get hit with her SP2 and, you know, let her power drain and power lock me just to see where that power bar, how far it fills up over the 10 seconds. So I'm just waiting for her to throw it, hoping it doesn't kill me. And it didn't. So I get power locked. It purified it. And now you can see I have that little power gain um, buff right there. And it is filling me up to one bar of power. So there are situations that um, this could be very useful in, uh, you know, 
it's really hard to say though that's the thing because you really don't want to get hit with a power drain or power lock so maybe if there's a power lock node um maybe plague mind a plague mind node where your power is drained so that if it could work on that node that might be good um we're gonna go ahead and bring scarlet witch in here up against this og vision and uh let him power drain and here we go uh, and it's just filling right back up i go ahead and launch the special two and the recoil kills her <laughs> it happens it happens uh i can't really think of too many situations where this would be um affected or effective rather so i mean hype's already got a natural power gain but i you know i would probably overall have to have to rank this synergy two out of five nick theories i mean it doesn't it just doesn't seem very useful it's very specific um like most of these synergies actually and um we're gonna go on to the next one and it's probably the best one that i'm gonna have to give four out of five nick theories to and that is all heroes um except nick 10 percent attack rating this boost is doubled if nick is dead so basically you get once nick is killed off you get the 20 percent uh attack rating so I think this is probably the best synergy he has to offer so far. All these other synerg synergies, excuse me, they're they're very specific, um, except for the one that removes um, debuffs at the beginning of the fight. Um, you know, other than that, they're very either champ specific or scenario specific, or you know, they just take up a lot of slots on your team. And you know, you've got five slots, so you don't want to waste it on something that's probably not going to be beneficial so but i mean i think they could have done better about choosing the champs um i get captain marvel you know i get why she is in there obviously he's got a lot of interaction with her in the new captain marvel movie um quake i get because of agents of shield but there could have been a lot of other synergies with champions that people run with think about it you could go cap infinity war hulk some of the other event or excuse me avengers i don't see why Kabam didn't choose um, a lot of the Avengers. You know, Hulk even, he could have done Hulk the Iron Man, I get. Um, but I think there was a lot of hype over his synergies, and I think the hype around his synergies was a little overstated. I don't know. I could be missing something off the top of my head. Um, if you think I'm missing something or just got something completely wrong, please let me know in the comments below. Um, I love hearing what you guys have to say it really helps me out too because you guys sometimes pick up on something that i didn't notice before so um i think the utility of nick fury was a little bit overrated but you know that's just my opinion of it overall i like him as a champ so let me know what you guys think in the comments below that's all that i got if you guys liked what you saw and you want to see more please remember to like and subscribe follow me on instagram and twitter and i'll catch you guys on the flip side Bye, guys.